Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a new feature found in Luminar Neo. It's called Generace, or if you prefer, Generative Erase. It is part of Luminar Neo. It is not an extension, even though it is with the extensions on the right-hand panel of the catalog module. Now you can see I'm in the catalog module of Luminar Neo, and on the right-hand panel I have the extensions Panorama, Stitching, Upscale, Focus Stacking, and HDR Merge. Right above that is Generace. It is not an extension. It is part of Luminar Neo. And what it does, it will remove things from your image. And what is unique about it is it uses AI to do that. Also, it doesn't work locally. It works in the cloud. So you do need an active internet connection. And you have to be willing to allow your image to be sent up to that machine in the cloud for Gen Erase to work. Now to use it, it's very simple. Just go to the catalog module, pick an image, then click on Generace. You'll open up in this Generace dialog and you can see it did some kind of quick weird calculation there. And then you have the toolbar along the bottom and you have the option to select or deselect. So by default, you'll be on select and you'll have a brush. You could change the size of the brush with the slider or you could use the bracket keys. The left bracket key makes it smaller and the right bracket key larger. What you want to do is get a brush that will cover the subject. Now, you just can't outline the subject. You have to color the subject in totally, uh, and you don't have to worry about being exact along the edges, but you do have to color it in uh, the subject in totally. Now, in this case, I want to remove the woman who's walking through this kind of courtyard, but I also need to remove her shadow. So we're going to come in and go along her shadow here. like this and I have to make sure that I got all the shadow and then come along and make sure I got all of the young woman. Now I've tried this on this exact image two different times uh, before I started the video. The first time it worked perfectly and it removed the woman and her shadow in one false swoop. The second time it worked miserably. Uh, it removed the shadow fine, but it replaced the young lady with an alien, uh, for lack of a better term. It was just a small humanoid creature that was there. So I then removed that and it worked fine. So I had to do it twice. I have no idea what's going to happen now. This <laughs> so is what I'm getting at. So I'm going to click erase when you're satisfied with your masking that you just painted on. Just click erase. And again, it will send the image up to that uh, cloud server and all the work is done there. Now, of course, how fast it goes depends on the speed of your internet connection and depends how busy that server might be. Now, one thing about uh, Generace, it is a learning type of tool, meaning the more work it does up there, the more it learns. That's part of the AI. So I anticipate this getting better as time goes on, and they'll probably refine the algorithm as well and make it work better. Now, right now, it actually is working pretty well, despite me uh, having weird situations here. Now, this time, it worked and removed. Now, you can see there is kind of an outline there, uh, kind of where the woman was in the shadow, and that kind of bothers me, but then I kind of think to myself, well, probably in real life, if someone glanced at this, uh, image, they probably wouldn't say, hey, you removed a person in a shadow. Uh, you really have to kind of know that something was there for you to recognize that there's an issue right now. But I did find it does do this. It kind of leaves kind of this little like um, remnant of what was there. And it does it on just about anything, really. I found it to do it uh, when I was working. I had a, a field with a couple hay bales, and when I removed a hay bale, the grass under the hay bale where it was replaced kind of looked discolored a little bit. So that is probably something that uh, color and tone that's going to be improved upon as this learns more and more and they will find the algorithm. Now, you're happy with it? Just click save. It is non-destructive, so it doesn't touch the original raw file, and it puts you in this folder called Generative Creations. Now, I'm going to go back to working folder. And we're going to go to this image right here. Now, obviously here, let's say I want to remove these cars. So what you would do is you would again click generate. You'd get the select brush 
I'll get a slightly larger brush and I'm going to kick and take this car right here. Now, Skylum states that this tool works best if you do it in parts, meaning you don't want to come in here and try to remove all these cars at once. So remove one or two cars at a time and click erase. Now, again, it's going to go through all the algorithms and remove that car. And I'll fast forward the video through this part and we'll return when the car is removed. Okay, it removed the car. Now you could see that it didn't really paint this line properly. Now what I found is that I would then just click deselect and I would remove the mask from where it's okay. Like right in there and there. And then I would go back to select and then I'd move on to this, in this case, the next car. And I'd leave that, um, this part over here masked. And then I'll click erase to remove that second car. And what I found when I did this is that it fixed the line over here so that it looks like the other lines. And hopefully it does it. As I mentioned, sometimes you don't get the same results twice. But again, I'll pause the video, and then when it's done, we'll return and we'll see what happened. Okay, we're back, and it's just, and you can see now it fixed this one, and it got rid of that car over there. So it did a really nice job. Now I'm going to cancel out of this, because I actually did take the time uh, to actually remove every single car in this lot. Now you can see there's that discoloration I mentioned. But that could be, you know, just kind of weathered spots on the cement. I don't think anyone would think twice that anyone actually sat here for five minutes like I did and removed every single car in this parking lot. But I was able to do it. And you could see that it looks fine. And it wasn't really that difficult to do. So uh, Generace, I think it really is a great tool. I think it is something that works okay right now. But I hope and I expect it to get better as it learns better, learns more, and as they kind of refine and tweak the algorithm um, of the way it works as well. That's it for this video. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.